I'm excited for today's video because I've got some super fun and cute spring DIYs that you guys are gonna love. I've got a couple of dupes, I've got a reversible sign, but instead of us just, or me just gathering about it, let me get to showing you how it's done. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Wood DIYs are always fun to do, and the first one is gonna be a dupe of this Kirkland sign. I got this sign from Dollar Tree, and it's a really good dupe for the Kirkland's piece. And of course, it's quite a bit smaller, but that's okay. And here, I'm just trying to find a piece of wood in my little scrap wood crack bin to use on the sign. And I finally found a piece, and I started to paint it this nice mushroom color. And I don't show this part, but I do end up painting it black, as I think it will be a much better contrast. So the inspo piece says, cherish every moment in the middle, but I'm making a cat mom sign. So mine says, you had me at meow. And I had two small clothespins that I painted black and I attached one on each side. And I'm just hot gluing everything down. Y'all, super, super easy peasy and super cute. And yes, I have posted notes because I haven't printed out pics of the cats yet, but I will. And of course you could customize the middle piece to say anything that you wanted. And yeah, I just lo I love how it turned out. I wanted to pause for a moment and share about today's playlist. It's the first Friday playlist and each month we have a different theme. This month's theme is wood DIYs and I'm joined by Mom Doss who is super creative and I just love watching her create. My other co-host is Connie's Creative Creations and again, super talented and I just love watching her videos. Both gals will be linked below and I hope that you'll check them out as well as the other awesome creative folks on the playlist. Jumping back into the DIYs, this is DIY number two and three. I've got this scrap piece of fencing wood and I sanded it smooth and I'm just trying to measure out where I will make my cuts and you know just kind of the general shape of the piece. All right y'all, so I got these safety glasses at Dollar Tree <laughs> and I was just thinking to myself these will be better than wearing like my glasses because first of all it's kind of going around my face more and especially if I'm sanding and stuff and stuff is flying everywhere, I think this will help better. And also, if something was to come at my eyes, I wouldn't want my like glasses that I have to wear to read to, you know, like be damaged. So I bought these for dollar twenty-five and um, you know, think I'm looking pretty cute, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm gonna cut out the double sided sign, the reversible sign, and it's really easy to use power tools, y'all. Just be careful and watch what you're doing and practice safety.
Here is um, my glasses are a little funky. Here is my cut out design and all I can say is slow and steady wins the race. You don't have to like mm, do it all the time. You know what I mean? And also to get like a cut deep like this. Um, so I cut down and then I cut down and then I cut at an angle and kind of came in like that. And then um, I took my saw uh, and went back this way. And I kind of had to do it a couple times to get it to the point that I needed it to be but I think it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna go paint it. I ended up cutting all the pieces into, like, well, <laughs> well, pieces, and the one that's rubber band broke off, so I had to wood glue that back together. Anyways, I was going to leave it as one connected sign, but when I went to flip it for the reverse side of the sign, the pieces were the wrong sizes, so I had to cut them down, and now I'm just painting them all white. One side is gonna spell out lucky, and the other side is gonna spell out hoppy. For the lucky side of the sign, I'm painting each piece a different shade of green. And I'm not going all the way to the edge because I kind of like it, like I like it to look rough painted, I guess, where it still shows white around the edges and stuff. And there's no rhyme or reason to the colors I chose, except those are the ones that I liked. For the hoppy side of the sign, I'm doing the same thing. I chose some happy spring colors and I'm painting each piece a different color, making sure to leave the white edge all the way around. <gasps> Don't forget it's free for you to hit the thumbs up button it's free for you to subscribe and follow along and it helps my channel grow and i'd appreciate it so there you go just wanted to mention that for the hoppy side i'm just using a white pen paint pen to write on the letters and you could use a cricut or a stencil but i think hand lettering works just fine and for the o i'm actually making like a little bunny head with ears and then once that dry, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, but write, of course, the word lucky. To the bottom piece that I left white, one side put the words in love and put a space between them and paint in a shamrock. And for the shamrock, you just draw three hearts with a green paint pen and add a stem, and that's it. And when it's dry, flip it over to the other side and then write spring. Okay, so I, this side, you know, we have a, I need to fix the Y. The green kept bleeding through, not sure why, but I will go back and fix that. And I'll also kind of clean up the L a little bit, but I like how this side turned out. And I love the hoppy side even better. I just think, I just love the colors. I think it turned out cute and I think it'll look great in one of my vignettes in my house. Just in case you didn't know, I have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. The link is gonna be in the description box below. You know where all the other links are. I hope you check it out. I hope you join it. And I hope you post a project you're working on. So, all right, let's get back to the DIYs. This piece is super cute and from Hobby Lobby. The original price is $8.99, but y'all know Hobby Lobby puts their stuff on sale pretty quickly. And right now, Easter is 40% off. So this would actually be about $5.40 but I knew I could recreate it, so here we go. Dollar Tree has several circle bead hoops, and this one has square beads, but there are round ones, and you can pick up one of those or just use their other beads that they sell as well. Here's another cute alternative, and you could just decoupage something on the rabbit to kind of make it look like the inspo piece, but let me show you how I did mine. I had a wood circle from Dollar Tree in my stash, and I painted it white. My beads that I'm using are actually from Amazon, which I think I'll link down below for you, but you can also use one of those bead hoops I mentioned or Dollar Tree carries beads and sometimes um, they have bead strands. So I'm putting all of my beads on a skewer and I'm painting them white. If the weather was better, it is even easier to spray paint them this way when they're on a skewer, but painting them like this works just fine too. I got this cling set from Dollar Tree last year and just absolutely love this bunny. In fact, I bought several just in case I didn't see them this year and so far I haven't. So it's a good thing I did that. And the process that I did was just to dry fit the pieces, placing them where I like them. And I did have to cut some pieces and then I used some Mod Podge to adhere the cling to the sign. I did a charger plate last year and it worked so well. I figured I would try it out on this and it's working out pretty good too. And look, I have some help. <laughs> now this is the part where I'm gonna be honest. I was going to E6000 these beads down, but I didn't realize that the only E6000 that I had was actually black. So that wasn't really gonna work. And then I used the hot glue which I thought worked okay. And I just glued the beads all the way around. And I started at the bottom and I was trying to end at the top because if there's gonna be a gap, I'd rather the gap be at the top where I could put like a bow or something to cover it up. 
And this is me being trans <laughs> with the transparent part. When I went to hot glue on the twine that I was going to use to hang it up with, I noticed several beads were pretty loose. Truth be told, probably could have popped off a bunch of them very easily. So if you're going to make this, keep that in mind and maybe use a better glue if you're going to paint, um, be putting this like outside or somewhere where it'd be kind of like touched or something. And by better glue, I'm thinking maybe like wood glue them on first and then paint it and put the Mod Podge stuff on, but that might be kind of hard. I don't know. Or maybe use super glue or something like that. Here's how it turned out. Like I said, I absolutely love the bunny. I love the flowers. I think it looks a lot like the inspo piece. I mean, I think you can see the spirit of the inspo piece in this one and super cute. It was affordable. I think total it cost me, well, it probably cost me close to the price that you could buy it in Hobby Lobby, but I made it myself. So I like it even more. And here are all my projects for today. I really do love how they turned out and I'd love to hear what you think. So let me know in the comments below. And I'd also love for you to join my crafting group on Facebook. And oh yes, don't forget y'all the playlist that's linked below too. So click on the links, show some love to the other creative DIYers. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok, my handle is our great house, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.